a day that feels so far away. But it's a culmination of like 13 years and a day that all of a sudden is here. It's an exciting kind of end to one chapter. The future on the other side. What lies ahead for each of these kids. For the students and one of their dogs who walked this next and rolled across the stage. Growing up, there's a lot of things that people try and prevent you from doing. So graduating high school is big for me. Damon Oswald is moving to Minnesota in the fall and wants to study history, hoping to become a teacher. So the sad part about history is that nothing changes unless people talk about it. Today, making history of his own. I felt yesterday like I was going to be ostracized. After his family learned the stage wasn't ADA compliant. There's no way he can walk across the stage with his classmates. Why? Well, because he can't walk. But the morning of, the school found a way to work around the stairs. There was some stress and some anger, and I said, you know, I get it. I, I'm a parent as well. Despite the stress, before the ceremony, Oswald kept a smile on his face, something his mom says he's always done. He has kept me young. He has given me purpose. He has blessed my life in so many ways. I, I don't know where I'd be today if it weren't for him. And getting his diploma. Overall happiness, I was really happy to see everyone there and smiling and laughing at me because of the hat situation. A moment, making it all worth it. It means to be included and not seen as just my wheelchair, as just like the person inside the chair. Now, the feeling is relief. But I hope in the future that they, they pick somewhere where they don't have to do it last minute leaving behind something the school will remember. I'm extremely proud of him, and I know he can do it. As he heads off to make new memories. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7.